think it's fine. All right, thanks for coming to this session. My name is uh, Hassan Almir, and I will be talking about uh, Integrify Sweden, uh, which is a project that I started with uh, a colleague of mine, Niklas Lindhardt. And uh, the reason why we started this project was we, we wanted to do something that creates an impact on people, that can actually change people's lives to the better, uh, we wanted to be a force of good, and w with this project, we found that way to make the impact. Uh, that's why I chose this this picture. You gaze into the universe, think about life, and what you want to do in life. And uh, this is part of what we would want to do in life. We want to do something good. So, what is Integrify? Uh, it's a project basically to help newly arrived refugees and immigrants. Uh, and uh, help them through the process to get a job in Sweden. And of course we target uh, people who have software backgrounds. So we, we are about 13 people, I think, at the moment, that work with us uh, on our free time. So this is kind of a side project that we do whenever we have time. Uh, and uh, the people that are involved in this come from many different areas. So we have software engineers, we have uh, recruiters, we have people that work as managers, uh, people that work um, with coaching, recruiters, maybe I said that. Yeah, so it's a w wide uh, group of people that can help in different ways. So the, the problem is that when people come here uh, to Sweden, the, uh, it's, it's very, very difficult for them to get established into society. It's a long process and there's a lot of different uh, government agencies that they have to go through and uh, every step takes a long time, so it's a very tedious process. Uh, and it doesn't really help that a lot of these people who come here, they have a big gap in their CV because, I mean, if you come from Syria, then you probably ha haven't coded for a while because of the war and then you leave there go from country to country, you end up in Sweden, and go through the process, so some people have maybe three years where they haven't done anything, and we know that this industry moves very fast, so it adds up to the problems or the difficulty for them to, to find a job. So what, what we try to do is uh, bring them in, uh, we host a small studio with laptops, we let them work on a project, uh, and then in the end they will have a prototype that they can use when they're looking for jobs here, show code, what they can, what, what they can do. Uh, also they will get us as references, so they can put us, they can put Swedish people, me and the others in Integrify, uh, put us as references when they're looking for jobs. And also in the end they will get uh, like a validation of, of their competence. So we, we do this uh, together with, with the Ardes Union. It's a Swedish uh, public unemployment service. So together with them, in the end, we create this validation, what each team member has uh, for knowledge, and then um, uh, they can use that when they're looking for jobs. So up until now, we've had people from many different countries. It has been very uh, a big mixture of different people. So it's been very interesting. So if you look, look at the Swedish industry for a bit, uh, Swedsoft, who I also think are sponsors here, right? Partners. Partners, yeah. So they, they, they are an in the independent association that uh, works towards increasing the S Swedish global uh, competitiveness when it comes to software industry. <coughs> and they came up with a report that they, they actually get, handed it over and presented it to the Swedish parliament not, not so long ago. In that report they concluded that almost half of the Swedish companies, and this is not just the IT companies, this is all the companies in Sweden, say that they, have, they, they couldn't expand as much as they wanted due to lack of developers. And a third of the companies, companies develop some form of software in-house. So it could be a website or app or whatever, but almost a third of the companies have some form of a software development in-house. So when you look at these figure, figures, it's, it becomes very clear that it's important for Sweden to, to make use of all the competence that is within the country in order to keep this uh, global uh, 
competitiveness edge. Um, the, in light of these numbers and in light of what's happening, we we feel that we are right in time and that we can actually provide uh, some form of solution at least for this. So if, if we look a bit on the uh, timeline, how we started with this and uh, what has happened since then. Uh, I don't know if you guys read a lot of news or if you're politically interested, but in 2015 there was a big uh, amount of people coming in to Sweden and even other countries in, in Europe uh, from Syria and that created a lot of pressure on the agencies. So the processes to get people in into work or into society it became even longer because they couldn't handle uh, everything. So that's, that's basically when we started to think how, how can we help, what can we do to pitch in and do something about this instead of just uh, whining about it, <laughs> as many, many people might do. So uh, within Capture Innovation, where I was working at the time, we, we tried to develop this, this idea into something that we can work with. But what we didn't really know exactly what to do and how to go about it. It was very fuzzy in, in the beginning. So what we did was we actually um, had a meeting with the Arbetsförmedlingen, the, the Swedish Public uh, Unemployment Service, uh, together with uh, a lot of different company representatives, to talk about this, what can we do to help in the situation? And uh, the Arbus Union, they had a very different view than, than we had at Capture Innovation. They wanted everyone to basically go back to university and get the formal degree, a Swedish degree, and uh, then also learn Swedish and then search for job. And I, I didn't really agree with that. Uh, we're in the software industry, so it's very easy for someone to prove what, what they know, to prove their knowledge. People work on hobby projects, they work on different kind of uh, projects and you can show them up and have a technical discussion. It's pretty easy to know if someone is a liar or if someone actually knows how to code. So we, we thought that uh, it's not really necessary to have a degree in the beginning. And that, is, th that meeting was really when we started to uh, understand how we wanted to go about this. So th this is when we decided uh, how, how we wanted to bring in people and help them. So shortly after, we started interviewing people, uh, refugees and immigrants, interviewing people, tried to pick the first team so that they could start uh, working with us. And uh, in February 2017, we actually started with the first team. So they started with the project and during the summer we created the company Integrify Sweden. Uh, now the goal for the company is not for us involved to make money. I mean, we, we're doing this because we want to do something good. But if we can manage to make money, then we can hire people that help in the process. We can bring in uh, teachers, we can expand on uh, the services that we can give. Uh, so that's the idea about having this company. So shortly after that, the team number one, uh, finisher, finishes their, their pro project and one of the guys get hired and then we start with the second team in October and uh, they finished I think two months ago and uh, one of them also got hired and team number three uh, started uh, in the middle of March I think something like that so we, we're in the round three now so yeah, that's our journey, and this is where we're at at the moment. So th this is basically the process of uh, the whole thing. So the first part is obviously the project. So we bring in the people, and they work for uh, anything between three and six months uh, on a project. And the goal is for them to have some, some kind of prototype of a product that they can show off uh, to possible uh, companies that they want to work at. So the first thing that happens is that <clears throat> I have a meeting with them in the beginning and I talk to them about Agile development and specifically Scrum. A lot of these people come here, they might have heard about or studied Agile and Scrum, but uh, not all of them have really applied it in, in a project form. So for us, we, f we felt that this was really important to, to bring this element in because as we know in Sweden all the software 
or maybe other countries as well, the majority of the companies have uh, agile methodology when they develop software. So it's very important for them to get that part as well to make it easier for them to find a job. So after that uh, initial meeting, they, they have the team has a brainstorming and then they talk together and uh, basically talk about what do they want to achieve in this period and then make a plan. And after that they start working and during the time that they are working, we who work at the Integrify, Integrify Sweden, we are there to help them. Uh, so obviously we all have jobs but we have a Slack channel where they can, if they have technical pr uh, questions or questions about the Agile process or basically any question they can post to us and we will help them as soon as, as we can. Uh, and for me, I'm also involved in the daily stand-ups, so I join them by Skype, uh, the stand-ups and try and help them out whenever they need. And I also join in for the demos. And we try to create this way of thinking that they are delivering to a customer and uh, to make sure they understand the importance of the demos. So we really try to follow up all these points to, to make it uh, as real as possible. And then in the end, when they're done with the project, uh, we have a big demo when we invite a lot of people. We invite recruiters and uh, company representatives. Uh, and they basically come and have a chance to talk to, this, to the group and the group demos what they have done, show off what uh, they have done during this period. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, make new contacts and maybe find a job. Uh, and after that, when we've done the demo, we have we enter the evaluation part. So in, in this stage, uh, we have we who work at Integrify, or at least some of us, we have one-on-one -on -one meetings with all the team members, uh, interviews, and every one of us take a different angle in interviewing. Uh, so what we try to do is to understand the technical level, skill level of every team member. We look at the agile skill, team skill, leadership, everything, and try to make like an evaluation for each, each person. Uh, of course, together with the code as well. So we look at the code as well, and all of that will result in an evaluation that will be the basis for the uh, verification that they get from Arbus Million. So in the end, they will get a paper that says that, okay, this person, he is at this level on these things, and it's pretty detailed, and goes through like a step for step what they have done and what they uh, are good at. And then they're good to, good to go. They start looking for work. And even in this phase, we have people involved in the project that uh, can, can help out at this phase. We have people that can coach them what to think about in an interview. We have people that uh, help them look at the CVs, help them refine the, the CVs and the personal, uh, what's it called, cover letter. Uh, and then also we have recruiters that uh, have contacts, so they also try to pull some threads and see if there is a need somewhere where we can make a connection. Uh, so yeah, this is basically it. And we've been doing this for three rounds now, now we're entering the 13. Uh, I think they have done one sprint, they're in, they're in the second sprint at the moment. And I, before I forget, they're actually sitting here, the team members. So if you want <laughs> so, so if you want to meet them, talk to them, ask them questions, hire them, uh, hire them. <laughs> <laughs> grab them, they're, uh, they don't bite, they're very friendly. Great bunch of people. So uh, yeah, take the opportunity and talk to them. So uh, yeah, this is a picture from the last demo we had. So th this was in the in the end when they finished the the project, and we invited a lot of uh, recruiters and uh, company representatives, and then the the team had a chance to show what they have done, uh, and then mingle and try to make uh, some contacts, new contacts. And uh, yeah, this is from a stand-up last week actually, on Friday. So it's me there joining them on Skype. And this is the team basically. And in the middle we have uh, Shell, Vasilius. I'm going to talk about that here. He actually joined us for the third project. He, he works at Volvo as a business analyst. 
Um, he, he joined our team, or at least this project, to, uh, to be the product owner or customer for the team. So he has an idea and he comes in as a customer and we have the team who has to work on it and deliver it and work in an agile way towards the, the customer. So that, that was a bit of a twist, uh, a different way of doing it and I think it's really great. So uh, I think this one will be very interesting to see the end result of this one. But then we have also, of course, the first two projects. The, the first project was about uh, creating a website uh, that would be like a meeting forum for people to connect, for refugees, immigrants and Swedes to connect and they can learn about the Swedish culture, Swedish food, everything Swedish basically. Uh, so th that was the basic idea about the, that website. And the second project, we bought in a, a robot that they could uh, work with. So they the second team created a website where the user would uh, log in and register, uh, register and log in and take control over the robot and the robot would stream video to the website. And so they could remotely control it and drive around with it and get some information. Uh, so in that project they did everything from coding C code on the robot to .NET ASP on the front end side and, and the databases. Uh, and they did really well. Uh, I was really happy with the, what they did there. So the, the outcome, what have we seen from this? I mean, we run this twice and now we're in the third round. Uh, for, firstly, I see a big difference in how, how they use the Agile work methodology. I mean, I, I, I'm with them almost every day during the standups. And uh, I know that in the beginning, it's difficult to, to wrap your head around this uh, scrum the story points. I remember when I first talked about it with an uh, professor, like, yeah, you, you don't really estimate time, you estimate gummy bears. So you, <laughs> you estimate something, uh, it's not tangible, it's a, it's a relative thing that you try to estimate. Uh, but in the end, I, I think most of them understand, start to understand the, the value of Agile and Scrum. So that's really fun to see the, the progress of that, if you compare the beginning of the project and the end of the project. And then the, the, the people that we've had participating in this, are, they're really, really passionate, they're engaged and they're really hungry for this. So it's really fun to work with them. And they, they take it really seriously and have pride in what they do. So they really think about everything from the code structure, to make it a good code base, to uh, modifying the layout of the website to make it uh, look really nice for the demo. So yeah, it has been really fun to do, be do, being do, doing this. Um, I'm really glad that we started this thing. So that was basically it. If you want to get involved in any way, or if you have any question, or if you want, uh, you want to hire people, or whatever, if you want to say hi, drop me an email. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.